Yeah, my name is Ken. I, I've been living in Vancouver all of my life. Uh, I've been married for 33 years. I have four sons. I have a business that my wife and I have operated in Vancouver for 29 years. Uh, we love living in Vancouver. We love Canada. It's a great city, but we also know that there's a lot of people around the world that don't have anything like what we have. They don't have the benefits of living in a great city like this. Uh, they don't even understand what, uh, what privileges are. Um, and so uh, I got involved in the work in West Africa in Liberia 17 years ago. A friend of mine called um, and just told me there's just too many kids uh, with no parents, no families. They're living in the streets, they're living in the forests. Uh, and they have nothing. There's no structure, there's no government. Um, and he and Ralph Bromley, the president of Hope for the Nations, and I got together and uh, Dave and Ralph, with their experience, came up with some great ideas and we've been working in Liberia, building on those ideas ever since. Over the years we have built, uh, we've tried business uh, dozens and dozens and dozens of ways. Some have been successful, some have not. Uh, we now have up to 35 to 38 families uh, that are raising over 90 children for us right now. We have um, a school that houses over 600 students right now. Uh, it's doing a great job, but it's still got lots of room for improvement. Uh, our biggest uh, work right now is working with malnourished children from our community and from outside our community. Even kids from neighboring Guinea are coming, coming to uh, see us uh, to get care for severely malnourished children. War destroys family, war destroys people. There is no mindset for what, uh, how to raise a child, how to feed a child, how to care for a child, how to be a family, how to let a child be a child even. Uh, a lot of these kids in this generation that are having children now, they've had no family to teach them tradition, to teach them ideas, to teach them what it's like to raise a family because it all was taken from them. A lot of these kids have just grown up without any of that. And that's what hope is there for. We've got to get in there and help these people know how to take care of their family, know how to raise a family and let children be children, and know how to educate them too. We've made a lot of progress in Liberia in the last 15 years, but we're still facing a lot of challenges. Um, our kids are still malnourished. We're still dealing with hunger in this country. Uh, our education system needs to uh, raise its standards. Our homes need to be upgraded. Um, our business mindset needs to change. Uh, we need to get this community out of a mindset of poverty and put it into a mindset of prosperity uh, and make a difference in these kids' lives. Um, we need your wisdom. We need your resources. Uh, we need your support. Even a few dollars are going to make a difference in somebody's life in Liberia. Hey, if you want to come to Liberia, come with me. But just do something.